starting a revolution so sexually deep that your clit will come out of the jungle wearing a camouflage bandana strapped with an M16, your breasts will feed malnourished babies of third world countries whose eyes cry in the dark looking for serenity, your lips glaze like lakes, quench thirst so deep that deep in the Sahara, they no longer dance for rain. Your eyes, like two pools of oil reflecting your inner fire, burn like alcohol-fueled bellies pushing your inhibitions towards the licking flames of freedom. Do you hear the drums calling you like a desperate lover, licking your heartbeat, making it taste like a potpourri mix you said you didn't mean to swallow? Because tomorrow, when the scent of this moment has long gone away, I want you to be left with more than just a memory of me walking away and you begging me to stay. I want to haunt you. Like the reoccurring sensation of my tongue running up and down your body, like the rise and fall of the sun in an orgy of bloodlust, angel wings and pixie dust. I'm starting a revolution so sexually deep that it'll be televised, digitized, and sold in every bookstore for $3.99. Price check, aisle three. What's for sale? Me. The buyer, you, and each breath we take causes the infernal to move. She says she likes it rough. Well, baby, there's nothing rougher than foreclosures after working 16-hour shifts for minimum wage. Nothing rougher than finding your missing child's picture on a newspaper's front page. Nothing rougher than the stage. She dances in a cage. One bar, no poles, stripped down, stripped down bare naked to the soul, still wearing, still wearing pieces of a... Woo! Sorry. I'm starting a revolution so sexually deep that it'll be televised, digitized, and sold in every bookstore for $3.99. Price check, aisle three. What's for sale? Me. The buyer, you. And each breath we take causes the inferno to move. She says she likes it rough. Well, baby, there's nothing rougher than foreclosures after working 16-hour shifts for minimum wage. Nothing rougher than finding your missing child's picture on a newspaper's front page. Nothing rougher than the stage. She dances in a cage. No bars, one pole, stripped down bare naked to the soul, but still wearing a mask woven together from the torn pieces of a broken home. I love her. Her body intoxicates. Her moves create dreams. Her shadow dances over me. I inhale the fantasy. She pivots in pirouettes on pedicured and polished toes. Peeking through Cinderella stilettos, you can see clear to the soul. An imperfect rose, once sewn with ink and needle on her perfect skin, struggles to bloom. Growing underneath the smoke and black lights last night, I discovered that past wounds don't always heal. Cover girl couldn't manufacture enough makeup to conceal the scarred parts of her broken heart. Bullet wounds texture her skin. Remind me she's real. But real doesn't seem to fly these days. It's all about getting paid and trying to pay off the landlord with overdraft receipts when the rent is late. She represents a demographic of women that struggle with the same fate, the same state, child support in Section 8, domestic violence and victims of rape, swimming in a cesspool of a society that consistently spits in her face. Wait, I'm starting a revolution. I'm starting a revolution. I'm starting a revolution so sexually deep that when I end, you begin. Men love her. Like the first breath released from your newborn, premature, two months in advance, fragile, handled with care. Men, hug her like she just drew your picture in crayon. Men, remind her she's beautiful in a way she's never been told. They all stand alone, waiting for a reason, something to believe in. We are that something. We are that reason. We are the revolution. I want y'all to keep it going for the third member of Chaos Theory.